Hi guys, I'm gonna be filming a trial lesson vlog. <laughs> Okay, hello guys. Today is, um, I think today is the 26th, a week ago-ish, I emailed the UCLA professor and today is finally the day I get a trial lesson and I am beyond nervous <laughs> because I have been super, super busy. I didn't get to practice today and it's currently 3 p.m. and I'm going to start practicing because I have the trial lesson in an hour. I hope it really goes well and I'm excited to see how he teaches. Guys, I just finished the lesson and he has this really distinct teaching style, I feel like. He was super nice, first of all, but he asked some questions that I didn't really know the answer to. So that was a little bit scary, but um, he went over this, the top one technique that I should probably improve on to, you know, continue improving to my maximum potential. See, my lesson was not perfect at all, and I wish I could have played some parts of it better. But the thing is, like, through what I played, he could see where exactly I need to work on, and that really showed in, you know, the technique that he taught me and the exercises that he introduced to me. I might get emotional while talking about this, but I always feel as though trial lessons and auditions are about producing the perfect result, you know? But I feel like a lot of the times it's not like that. And I keep forgetting that. Being imperfect is, you know, the point because then they could see what you need to work on if you live up to the level of their university. And I think that the teachers there instead of trying to nitpick out those weaknesses, their goal is to kind of embrace it and help you grow off of that and improve that. It feels weird to finally have this realization. I guess I always had it in my mind, but I've never really had it hit me <laughs> like that. At the same time, I feel it feels bad that I still have something to improve on because that means I didn't perform perfectly at the lesson, which is kind of stupid, you know, because the point of a lesson is to kind of learn from it. Like, I guess I feel embarrassed that I had an obstacle in my playing to start with. Yeah, that's my rant about my first lesson. I was really, really nervous, but he was really nice. Hi guys, today is February 1st and I have my trial lesson with the Oberlin professor, Sibby Bernhardsen, and I am really excited. I think I'm going to work on the Mozart Violin Concerto. Um, I'm really nervous, but I hope that he likes me and I hope I play well and I hope we click. I really want to go to that school. Guys, I just finished my trial lesson at Oberlin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he absolutely tore my playing apart. We talked about the same passage, the opening of Mozart, for literally the complete hour. One thing I realized is that he is such an incredible teacher. Like, even though he doesn't know me deeply right now, he knows exactly what my struggles are and how I'm feeling. I just had a really helpful lesson and it's it's literally about to make me cry <laughs> or like so like i don't know it just i will get so sad if i get rejected from this school i don't know why i'm getting emotional <laughs> but i think something i realized after i talked to him about oberlin and just the way he teaches is that i'm just really burnt out but I just felt like the way he cares about his students and how much of an ideal environment Oberlin is for musicians. It kind of like sparked that passion and inspiration and like love for music I have deep down inside. I, I really haven't been able to feel that recently, but I'm feeling that all over again. And then he was talking about how if students want to practice five hours a day because they love music so much, then he will like organize practice schedules for them. I don't even know what kind of feeling this is, but 
it's a good feeling. I don't know. But anyway, I think that going to Oberlin, this is really weird, but when I was having my trial lesson, it just made me picture like myself going to Oberlin, which has never happened to me for any school before, which, so it kind of feels weird. But I felt like if I went to Oberlin, I could learn to love music even more than I do now because the environment seems so positive from the way he described it and so like empowering instead of like he did mention that his studio is super rigorous and prestigious but he did say that they're not there to like tear each other down you know they're all just hoping for the best for each other you know so none of that toxic competition <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm turning this video on hoping this will make me feel better. <sighs> I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I'm literally shaking. I actually do not know what to do, but today is February 3rd. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm actually really nervous. And I have a trial lesson, another trial lesson scheduled today for 4 p.m with my first choice Eastman professor, Eugene Jang, and I'm so excited. For the last couple of days, I've been looking up her like biographies, which I've already read before, but like her biographies and her performance recordings, and I've been listening to them like over and over again, and she's an amazing performer, and I'm sure she's that great of a teacher too. And I hope I play well. I should go get practicing because my lesson is in an hour. Mm, I think I'm going to play her Beethoven. She has like a rep list up there and she's played the Beethoven concerto before. So I would be excited to, you know, have a lesson with her on that. And Eastman is another one of my like top schools. So I really, really want to like click with the professor too. I really feel like throwing up. And I have never gotten this nervous for a trial lesson before. Also, I have my audition with Eastman tomorrow, so I think that's why I'm a little bit more like worked up too. So anyway, I will fill you guys in after my trial lesson. I hope it goes well. Guys, I'm back from my lesson. I'm really happy right now. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna get emotional after this one too. But um, I was also really emotional about this one too um i didn't really get to know too much more about eastman itself <sighs> deep breaths deep breaths but um i also felt like she understands me really well and this thing is gonna make me really emotional but um but she was like telling me how um at first when she started lesson she thought she had to like you know teach me how to utilize my bow well but then she was like after hearing you play i think you can fix 80 percent of that by yourself she said i was kind of restricting myself and limiting myself and the main thing that she told me the entire time was to just let go and find the nuances in music don't just think about the intonation and the rhythm and bowing and everything, but overall just kind of express myself and let myself go so I can express myself. And I feel like through these auditions, I've lost musicality a little bit in my playing because I have it like in my mind that my intonation, my rhythm, my bowing has to be perfect before I do anything with my expression, you know. I don't know. I'm just overwhelmed. She said I play beautifully though and she also said I did not expect this at all. I didn't even expect colleges to like actually look through my whole pre-screening but she said that um, she remembers me and my pre-screening really well because she had to go back and listen to my pre-screening Beethoven concerto the whole movement twice because she was interested and I was like oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, anyway, my audition with Eastman is tomorrow and she just told me to play out and express myself, let it go because she said it would be so sad if like I didn't really show who I am to the professors through my music, intonation and rhythm and stuff. If you mess that up and you, if you don't get all the notes, that's a mistake. 
But you know, if musicality isn't there, then that's a whole nother story. I'm getting way too emotional over these lessons, but they truly remind me again, like, what a passion for music is and why I want to go to music school because I want to be surrounded by this energy constantly. <laughs> this is embarrassing. She was really nice and um, I could tell like how much understanding of the music she had. So much of a uh, um, suggesting style but she doesn't enforce anything on you and i think that's really unique because i don't think i've ever had a teacher that's taught like that she said that it's okay if we disagree with each other she just needs to understand you know like where i'm coming from she said she didn't really get that from me because i'm putting up a wall which i think is so true she said that the moment i feel uncomfortable with my own playing Everyone else feels uncomfortable too. Her, the listeners, everyone. So I self-sabotage a lot of the time. That was a really important lesson. <laughs> I'm glad I had that. It would be great to study with her actually. <sighs> I can't believe I'm going to be crying literally every single clip of this video. It was supposed to be like an uplifting video. I can't believe this happening anyway that's that i think i cried like way too much today i hope tomorrow's audition goes well i'm gonna practice with what she said in mind so that tomorrow i could be a little bit more prepared and i gotta go i'm so incredibly thankful for all of this and if one lesson has me feeling like this like this emotional and like feeling like that love for music again i don't even know how empowered i'm gonna feel going to a music school for four years but yeah anyway <laughs> i gotta go before i cry even more <laughs> hello so today is the day after eastman auditions and i honestly thought i could not pick up my violin because every time after i have like a not so great performance i kind of it kind of makes me feel a bit more further away from my violin if that makes sense but this audition process has not been letting me have space from my violin you know but today i had my last trial lesson with professor won bin yim from cincinnati conservatory of music and I think his style of teaching is a lot different from every single trial lesson I've had. He asked me to play all of my repertoire, mostly all of my repertoire. He asked me to play part of the most of the Bach, most of the Paganini, and like three pages of my Beethoven. And then he started to, you know, teach me. He asked me like, oh, what do you think is the number one thing that you have to fix? And then we like worked on that for the entire lesson and he also taught me to like apply the things that he talked about into my pieces and that was really cool that was fun i think yeah i'm not crying but it was a really good lesson he kind of has like a similar teaching style to the teacher i study from right now and my teacher actually recommended him to me she was like oh i know this teacher teaches at cincinnati and my students have had a great experience with him. You should research him a little bit and see if you want to study under him. And I watched his like violin channel interview and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to study under him if I go to Cincinnati. Because their teaching styles are really similar. This is probably the most compliments I've gotten from any teacher that I've had trial lesson with. And that's my teacher's teaching style too after everything i play my teacher's like oh good job wonderful and then she starts to like say the things that i can improve on and i think that's played a big role in like recovering my self-esteem this professor he was like after everything i played he was like great great that was wonderful good i really like it better like you know and he told me he can see that i really enjoy the pieces that i play I really enjoy playing violin. 
which I'm really glad that showed. He said I'm the musical type or whatever, like expressive type, which I used to think I was. And I'm glad that he thought that too. I still have my contacts in because that lesson was at 11 a.m. EST. I had to get up before 8 a.m. PST because that's my time zone. I did not practice Beethoven, Paganini or Bach today at all and i ended up playing all three of them and actually kind of went well not gonna lie yeah that's that was a good reminder i really liked him actually i've taken away so much after all of these every single one of these lessons and i'm so thankful that i could actually like schedule lessons with all of my all of my top schools most of my top schools it was a really interesting experience i've actually only ever studied from two different teachers so and the one time that I transitioned into learning from a new teacher, which wasn't that long ago, it was very hard on me. And I realized that, oh, they really only want the best for me. So yeah, it's been a blessing, like a really good experience, and I'm thankful for that. I'll make a video on how I reached out to the professors that I wanted to have trial lesson with, and the benefits of it, and what I got out of it. I'm glad that I can be in the position to, you know, make these videos to maybe educate or help other people. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for following along my journey. <laughs>